What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In the truck with the trailer. Didn't film anything on the load up side, but we're heading out to a wedding as you guys know from the thumbnail of the video. It is currently Friday, July 30th, and we're heading out to the Maxwell in Raleigh. It's actually a brand spanking new venue just opened in March, and uh, I'm excited to be out there. We're DJing for Stephanie and Peter today. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be exciting. We have uh, literally about an hour long drive, which is gonna take uh, seconds for you guys to pass through, but Ralph is gonna be meeting us at the venue because Ralph actually lives in Raleigh. It's nice to have team members uh, spread out across the state of North Carolina. But anyways, today is uh, kind of a traditional setup this, se this season so far. We're doing uh, the turntable booth with movers. We're doing up lighting. We got ceremony, we got cocktail, and we got reception. Uh, and we're gonna be DJing until 11 o'clock tonight. Cocktail starts, or reception, prelude starts at five, 5.30 ceremony, six o'clock's cocktail. And then 7 to 11 is going to be the reception portion of this evening. We're literally doing like no specialty events, which is what I love. So many weddings are turning into literally, we show up, we do the ceremony, we do the cocktail, we do grand air inductions, we do a first dance, we might do a parent dance, and then it's dinner and party the rest of the night, and that's it. Love these weddings. So much easier, and it, we just get to do what we love, and that's DJ. We're about to pull up to the venue, but uh, I got extremely tired on that drive. This is the first time driving to a venue where I haven't had someone with me in a while. Normally I got someone coming with me the whole time, but Ralph's here in Raleigh, so no need for him to drive all the way to Greensboro just to drive back to Raleigh um, and then to come back again later tonight. So no one to talk to, no one to sit here, but I got I got pretty damn tired. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. I'm gonna be cracking open a bang as soon as we get in there. Uh, so I can get my hypeness back because I can fake it, but I need to actually be hyped. As a company and as an individual, I've been extremely busy as sh My to-do list is so f***ing long and today's Friday and thankfully, thankfully, I got Saturday and Sunday off, which is a, a blessing. Actually, I think I'm going to be doing a lighting rental tomorrow, so still doing business, but uh, I get the evening okay. off. Turn left onto Durham Drive. Oh, shit, 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 But anyways, we've been busy. I've been busy. And I can't wait to have a couple days to catch up on all my tasks and Turn get right caught up. Ah! I've actually already been to this venue once. The Maxwell. This venue, I just gotta tell you guys, this venue is absolutely f***ing sick. Got the glass bistros up there. We got Ralphie Ralph over there chilling. He's ready to go. We got Ralph in the building. <laughs> We're here, man. This is a brand new venue, Ralph just opened in March. Let's, lo let's load in. What's up guys, welcome to the venue. Interesting little setup, we're kind of splitting up our setup a little bit to make it fit the room better. I'm always big on making sure your setup fits the room and staging it accordingly. So we got, uh, you guys can probably see over there, we're doing the totems, but we got our sweaters table, tape those on both sides, center area for dancing, big double bar. We have an area here, but we also have ice cream that needs to fit in over here. And catering needs to slide through the center because we're doing a served dinner tonight. So what we're doing, is kind of, uh, we had some options with the audio. We could run an XLR and put a speaker all the way over here. We could put a speaker way over there. And we also got totems and movers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our normal setup here, and we're gonna set up both of our PRXs here on either side, our tops. And then we're going to set up the audio rack, turn to the booth, obviously, and we're gonna center stack, well, not center stack, we're gonna double stack the subs back here in the corner, which is gonna be absolutely killer. So that's kind of the plan. We're gonna double stack the subs back here, and then we'll set the delays inside of the drive rack so that we have the proper delays between the subs and the tops being up further. And then lighting-wise, we're trying to center up the lighting and we're going to put totems and movers on either side of this amazing fireplace that they got here along with these uh, neon LED love letters that they're doing. So Ralph's tapping in the pins and we'll put the movers up on top. We got an outlet on both sides and we're doing a ceremony. It's gonna be over here in the side room. So if we come on over here, we're gonna have the ceremony over here. So the ceremony's inside, the reception's inside and then the cocktail is gonna be outside. It's hot out here. I'm going back inside. We need a setup though. Uh, we're running a time lapse and we're gonna set up all this stuff extremely quick because that's what the setup is. So setup is complete. Ready to rock and roll. That's not centered. I don't like that. We're gonna fix that. Better. All set up. Like I said, we're doing the tops up here, subs back here. Interesting setup. Not the first time I've done this, but basically it's corner loading the sub and you get like so much base out of doing that. Way more than what we'll need for tonight. Up lights are all the way around the room. 
so that's all good to go. Ceremony is set up over here. All set up, got our ceremony rack as always. We have the Yamaha, we have our Audio Technica 3000 fourth gen lapels, LD system Maui 5 Go, and we will unplug that and take that outside for cocktail. I'm gonna go uh, change now, so. Ralph kicking it off with the cocktail vibes. Um, I didn't really do a setup tour, and we were also intending that they were gonna do cocktail outside, which they didn't. Uh, and I can't blame them, it's hot as sh outside. So let me do a walkthrough during cocktail of the setup as quickly as I can without getting copyright strike because we're playing needy. Audio is the traditional JBL PRX 712s up top. In the back, we got the Fumpers, the JBL PRX 15 XLFs, 715 XLFs, double stacked in the back, nice and tight. We really should have put them down on the ground, but it's plenty of bass for this room. This room is this room's kind of echoey, so that is plenty of bass. Now back here at the back rack, I uh, love this thing. Basically the lids turn into the table. Check it out, I got a whole video on that. Audio is all running through the Yamaha MG12 mixer right here. We have our inputs of our wireless microphones. We have our Furman power strip and of course Chavez Show Express for our lighting that's up top in the laptop. But everything's running audio wise through the drive rack PA2 which allows us to do delays. You can delay the tops so that they, the subs when the bass catches up right here they follow through in the same plane. Down below we got Audio Technica 3000 4th gen's best mics money can buy. These things are amazing look them up. Best mics you can buy. And that's pretty much it. The audio rack's dope because we got a power strip down here all of our power and on the other side down there we have all of our ports that come from the drive rack so we got three different outputs high mid and low orange ones are our two highs and that's our low going to our subs and right there's the input coming from my booth up front and that's the power antennas up here for the mics got the big half wave ones we also got the usb that goes to the show express we also got a router down here so we can control the drive rack wirelessly rocking the rain 12s the pioneer s9 hp spectra 15 all pre-wired, like literally pull the cup, pre-wired. Coming down here, we got the power and two XLRs coming straight from the mixer to power the whole thing. Mix and show express, it's running back here to control uh, all 24 of our boat lighting S4s. Bad boys right here, they're all the way around the room. And to control our totems. Oh, I did forget to mention, these are the Rockville hydraulic speaker stands. Uh, if you have speakers like the PRX ones, literally you just unclick it and it goes right up. If you got the SRXs like I do, they don't really lift them up at all. You have to like give it assistance, but it makes them so much lighter. Highly recommend hydraulic speaker stands. Oh, and these are on stage speaker scrims. They actually have the bag zipped to it. It's really dope. Love these things. Links in the description down below. We got our gig tote. We got the cooler as always with Bang Gatorade and water. Uh, our wires are all in here. All of our backpacks, all hidden behind the ADJ white facade these love letters are super dope and they're made out of cardboard we have a lot of both lighting s4s to highlight this awesome mantle space but beside them we have our totem so this is global trust totems with actual trust and uh inside of them if i can get you a peek here they're pre-wired with outlets conduit there's a whole video on that but it makes setup a million times faster when they're pre-wired adj InnoSpot pros up top and uh we got a wireless donor DMX receiver right there coming from our DMX. So everything is wireless DMX from donor. We have the receivers plugged into the movers and then all the lights have the DMX built into them, the wireless DMX. Legit, these totems, if you if you haven't seen the video, go check out the video. These totems have outlets built into them and we just take this power cord, plug it right in, the outlets right there to plug in the DMX, to plug in the mover, all set, ready to go. It takes like seconds to set this up. You did a pretty dope job. The gold silverware, the gold real silverware is becoming like a really, really, it's a big thing now. That's the tradition now, that's the trend. Gold silverware. Being a smaller wedding, they put the pipe and drape up. It's awesome because it gave us a nice little storage area to keep all of our stuff. They're actually uh, cooking everything outside. That's a dope caterer, cooking on site. You guys wanna know why having an assistant is amazing? Because for cocktail, I don't have to worry about mixing music. I can say you're going over the planning forms and going through in my head how introductions are about to go. And I can go get those people and round them up for introductions. So get yourself an assistant. Just get an assistant. It's worth every single dollar that you pay them. They're worth it. They're worth gold. Literally gold. Get an assistant.
joining the last dance, last dance here. Broke down, broke down, broke down. Broke down. All wrapped up, loaded in the trailer. We done, 40 minutes, it's all took. Ralph sweating through his shirt because he didn't change. 